Journey Map. It is one of the best map mods for Minecraft, and that's the thing. It's not just a mini map. While it does add one, it's an entire map mod, letting you see your entire world from a top-down view, add in waypoints, teleport using the map. It's really, really good, so let's go ahead and get it installed. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That's our complete guide on getting Journey Map here, and it covers everything, just like we're going to cover in this video. So all you need to do is click on the Download Journey Map button to go to Journey Map's official download page on CurseForge. Once you're here, go ahead and click on Files, and then you'll be able to see the different files and versions of Journey Map. For this video, we're looking for the Forge 1.20.2 version. It's right up here at the top, but not the very top, and you want to make sure it's the Forge 1.20.2 version. Click the three dots on the right-hand side, and click download file. When you do that, Journey Map will begin downloading after a few seconds. And while it's downloading, how to best from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily have plugins, mod, mod packs, or host a vanilla server. The choice is up to you. And truthfully, you can customize anything you want about your server. If you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center. And truthfully, it's the simplest and easiest way to host a Minecraft server server out there. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server the simple way. Journey Map is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. And there's one more thing we need to get and that is Forge. Journey Map is a Forge mod so we need to get Forge in order to install Journey Map. In the description down below you'll find a link to here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Forge and it's really really useful. It covers different issues you may have like exit code 1 or 0, some FAQs. We're going to be going over the basics in this video but if you do have any issues with Forge along the way, this guide's here to help. Go ahead and click the Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page, where we want to make sure that we're selecting the 1.20.2 version on the left-hand side. Then we want to come under the 1.20.2 here, and if you have Latest, Download Latest, go under that one. And then if you have Download Recommended, go under that one and click Installer. Otherwise, if you're like me and just have Download Latest, click on Installer there. Then the download will begin, and after a few seconds, you may need to keep or save Forge, perfectly normal as long as Forge is in the title, and we can go ahead and minimize our browser. From there, let's go ahead and move both of these files to our desktop. So we want to go ahead and move Forge and Journey Map to our desktop, right like so. We're going to be starting off with Forge, and in order to install Forge, just right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, that's okay. You need Java 17. Java 17 is linked in the description down below alongside our complete guides on how to get it, of course. We also have the jar fix. You may need to run the jar fix, but only do that after you install Java. So first install Java, then run the jar fix, and you're going to install Forge. Let's do it. Right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That then opens up the mod system installer for Forge, where all you've got to do is click Install Client and click OK. It's not going to download, install, get Forge installed for Minecraft 1.20.2. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If they are, close them both. It could also not work if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, go ahead, open up Minecraft 1.20.2 with no mods, just open it to the main menu, close out of it, then you're good to go. Nevertheless, Forge is successfully installed. Click OK to close it and delete Forge from your desktop. Let's install Journey Map. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher, and then in the Minecraft Launcher, you should have a Forge installation. If you don't have a Forge installation, what you want to do is go ahead and create one. I'll show you how to do all of that, but for us, we already have the Forge installation. There it is, and if you've got it, click this drop-down box and select it, and then click Play and click Play again. But if you still don't have Forge here, go to Installations at the top, and then make sure Modded is selected. As you can see, if you don't select Modded, Forge isn't there, so make sure you check Modded, and there it is. If you still don't have Forge, or don't have the 1.20.2 version of Forge, click New Installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that is the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server. We then want to go under the version here, click the drop down, and select Release 1.20.2 Forge. Now, for me currently, that's at the top. You may need to scroll a ways to find yours, and that's perfectly normal as well, having to scroll down here to find it. But nonetheless, we now have that selected, and you can go ahead and click Create in the bottom right. Now we want to go ahead and find our Forge installation, either one that's there by default or the simplegamehosting.com one we created. Hover over it, click play, and click play again. Now Minecraft's going to open and Forge will be installed. That's the hard part. The hard part is getting Forge installed. The easy part is adding Journey Map to Minecraft once you've got Forge. And to do that, all we need to do from the Minecraft main menu here is click on Mods. Then we want to click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Now again, from the main menu, click Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. 
Now what we want to do is drag and drop journey map from our desktop into our mods folder. It's that easy. Just move it from your desktop into your mods folder and close out of your mods folder. Journey map's not here though. It's not going to be here. You need to quit Minecraft. You want to reopen up Minecraft using the Minecraft launcher. And when you do, journey map will in fact be installed. It'll be installed and working and we'll be good to go. You just want to make sure that you're playing Minecraft with that Forge installation, either the one that was there by default or in our case using that simplegamehosting.com one. Click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with journey map installed. There are two ways to check this. The first being going to your mods folder. There it is. There's journey map. The second being joining a single player world or joining a multiplayer world where when you join the multiplayer world, and yes, this will work on a server, even if the mod is not on the server, you can see that it's working right out of the box. Now, it takes a second for it to load in, but in the top right, we do have our mini map. If we press J on our keyboard, we first get this kind of pop-up of the developers and all that click close, and then we can see this map. As you move around the world, it's going to fill out more and more and more. And it's honestly amazing. Once you've played for, let's say a few days, you've gotten a lot of builds, you've gotten all that stuff. It's amazing to see it in journey map and honestly that's why this is one of my favorite mods ever and something that i recommend all the time because being able to see your world by hitting j from a top-down perspective and then you can also add in waypoints so we can go ahead and add a new waypoint here we'll call this spawn for example and then we go back out there it is right you can also teleport using journey map some people might not like that feature but you can right click and teleport and it will move you right there so there you have it that's how you can easily add journey map to mine Craft. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. There's that waypoint, by the way. We are more than happy to help you out. And if we did help you get Journey Map, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.